Imagine watching a movie without the soundtrack. You might see the action, but miss the impact. In educational research, numbers tell us something has happened, but effect size lets us hear the true magnitude of that event. In this video, we'll be exploring the power of effect size. Hi, I'm Matthew Courtney, and here we talk all about education research and data. So if you're into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and come be a part of our community. Effect size is an essential component in statistics and in education research. While p-values tell us if an effect exists, effect size quantifies the magnitude of that effect. So why does it matter? Consider the case of statistical significance, which, although indicative of a difference, can sometimes be misleading. Even a large study may identify a statistically significant difference, but what if that difference is, in reality, quite minimal? This is where the concept of effect size becomes invaluable, offering a much clearer picture of the impact. There are a few ways to calculate the effect size, but you'll most often hear people talk about Cohen's D, which is indicated in research reports using a D printed in lowercase and italics. Cohen's D compares the means between two groups. It is calculated by taking the difference between two means and dividing that by the pooled standard deviation. Understanding how to interpret effect size is crucial. Cohen himself gave us this guidance. A small effect size, around 0.2, might be noticeable, but doesn't always translate to practical significance. A medium effect size, around 0.5, is typically clear and visible to the observer. A large effect size, around 0.8 or higher, signifies a substantial impact that's hard to ignore. However, a quick note of caution. While these benchmarks are helpful, they're not universal truths. This is one of those cases where you really have to apply your own professional judgment to determine the practical implications of your findings. So let's consider how effect size might work in reality. Imagine a school district implements a new mathematics curriculum. Test scores improve slightly, but is that change truly meaningful? Using effect size, you can determine the magnitude of this improvement. Let's say the Cohen's D value is 1.2. This would suggest a significant impact, indicating that the curriculum not only improved scores, but did so in a substantial and meaningful way. In education where resources are finite and stakes are high, effect sizes become crucial. A new teaching technique might produce statistically significant improvements, but is it worth the time and cost? Effect size helps stakeholders make informed decisions. Usually, I would show you how to calculate effect size in a spreadsheet tool, but I'm going to skip that here because it's very fiddly and, frankly, not worth the effort. The internet is teeming with effect size calculators that can do these calculations for you in a fraction of the time. You can find some quick ones on a Google search, or check out the one that I offer for free on my website at www.matthewbcourtney.com forward slash effect size. Effect size turns the abstract world of numbers into tangible insights, letting educators, policymakers, and researchers gauge the true impact of interventions. It's the bridge between statistical results and practical significance. If you found value in this video today, make sure you like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this playlist. I'll see you next time.